Hey folks, welcome back to Beefnopolis Horror Stories Horror How To on Pine View Drive. Let's turn some lights on here. Okay. Ah, shit, son. So, this week on Horror How To, I learned how to do a cool thing. Eh, cool. Eh, you'll, you'll see. I learned how to do a cool thing. This way. God, I thought that was a window. <laughs> Horse ebooks on, uh, yeah. Anyway, I learned how to do a cool thing. I learned how to make uh, ice cream that requires no churn, which is really good for those of us with limited kitchen space that do not have the uh, space for a friggin' ice cream machine. So this is, it's super easy and it's really good. So I'll tell you how to make plain vanilla while we're wandering through the house here. I'll tell you how to make plain vanilla. It is really nasty outside. Hold, excuse me a second. Um, sound? Sound options? Ah, shit. Um, okay, well, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll try to talk loud then. Okay. So anyway, it's a really easy, it's really good, and you're going to love it. <laughs> so yes, this is what I do in Pine View Drive. I, um, since the gameplay is not all that in a bag of chips to watch, but I like this game and I enjoy playing it for you, what I do is I, uh, I do a little how-to, a little, uh, little educational bit while we're playing. Uh, that's not where I want to be. Do a little how-to. And uh, we're doing today, I, I've, I've said this already, no churn ice cream. So, I'll tell you how to make the plain vanilla, and then if there is time, which there probably will be, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing, the next thing will be, I'll tell you how to make a, um, crap, a bourbon caramel swirl variety. Oh, yes. Shit on a stick! Okay. Uh, jump scare usually means key. What the fuck just happened? That... There? Apparently, this time, jump scare did not mean key. Did that light just blow up? That light just blew up. Okay, that's new. Shit. So. You know, jump scare. I'm, I'm gonna look again. Because most of the time, when you see a jump scare, that means there's a key. But there is no key. Alright. Alright, so to make the no churn ice cream. It's, it's so dark in here. Oh, Jesus. The first thing that you're going to need is uh, your ingredients. You need two cups of heavy cream. You will need... Um, okay, so are all lights out now? Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> that's great. That's awesome. You will need two cups of heavy cream. You will need one can of low-fat sweetened condensed milk, otherwise known as Eagle Brand. Yes, the, this time, just this once, I specifically say low-fat. Trust me, you don't need full fat for this. The uh, There's going to be enough uh, milk fat in this thing as it is. Just, just trust me. Oh, fuck you. Trust me on this. All right, where am I going? Ah, oh, shit. This way? This way. Alright. This sucks. Okay. So, two cups of heavy cream. One cup of... Hey, light it. Or not one cup. One can of low-fat Eagle Brand. Uh... Vanilla extract, even if you're making a non-vanilla ice cream, you'll still want to have the vanilla extract. 
just to, you know, add some flavor to the base that's not just sugar and milk fat. As good as sugar and milk fat are. I'm not arguing that point. Not at all. I think that's not where I want to be. So, you want to get a nice big mixing bowl, preferably a steel one. Glass works too. And you want to... You actually want... You want to put your mixing bowl in the fridge, honestly, because you want everything that touches the cream to be cold. But we're not going to worry about that right this second. Uh, you also are going to need some mechanical assistance for this one. If you have a stand mixer with the little paddle whippy whisk... Not, not the paddle, the whisk. The wire whisk attachment. That's great. If you have a hand mixer, that's great. If you have the uh, the stick blender, um, the immersion blender, I don't know. Uh, try it. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work. But try it. What the hell? If all you have is a wire whisk and your own God-given arms, well, um, good luck with that. <laughs> I, I'm not saying it won't work. I'm just saying you're going to be really sore the next day. Light it. Thank you. So. You do not need to add sugar to the cream. You just... Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> you son of a bitch. You don't need to add sugar to the cream. Ah, oh, yes, I've been here. All you need to do... Alright, there any keys and shit here? Were there, were there some matches that I couldn't get last time? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Uh, before you whip the cream, you'll... Oh god, my flashlight is almost totally out. Before you whip the cream, you want to do the, uh, the Eagle Brand goop. The Eagle Brand Goop being um, your sweetened condensed milk and your flavoring. In this case, vanilla. Vanilla extract. Anything good on TV? No, we have... Of course there's nothing good on TV. We have no power. Is there a candle? Yeah, there we go. Fuck. Um, what... Something... What the shit? Oh, that that's just a weird shadow. Okay. That ain't right. Let's make sure there's nothing over here. Alright. So. You mix up, dump it, in a dump it in a bowl, mix up your sweetened condensed milk and uh, some vanilla extract. A couple of, about a tablespoon. See, if you've got a really good vanilla extract. Trust me, that will be fine. That, that's a lamp. That's not going to work. That's a... There we go. There we go. Okay. Alright. Okay. So you mix that up. And then set it aside. Because next, what you need to do is to light a candle. <laughs> the next thing you need to do is whip your cream. So you dump that uh, two cups of heavy cream in your cold steel or glass bowl. And... That's weird. You take your stand mixer, or your hand mixer, or your whatever mixer, and you beat the hell out of the cream. You want to get it to a, a stiff peak stage. That is when you take the beaters out of the bowl, you get a nice stiff peak. 
left behind. And you'll you'll be able to tell it's getting close to that point when um, when you can start seeing the mixer trails in the cream. So if it, if it starts turning into butter, if it starts separating out, well, you fucked it up, and uh, it's it's no good at this point. Hey, can you try? Can you light the candle, please? Thank you. Uh, and you're screwed. You, you just need to start over. What? Why is why is the sound and the music doing the thing? Okay, so you mix the cream or whip the cream up to stiff peak stage. Is that the clock that I'm hearing? Okay. And then... You very carefully take you a nice big spatula and very carefully fold in the eagle goop. You don't want to stir it hard. You don't want to... You don't want to, you know, flatten it. If it starts getting soupy, you fucked it up again. So, uh... Why is this glowing? Just weird lighting glitches, I guess. So yeah, I have no keys. I have no idea where the hell I'm supposed to go at this point. I guess I gotta go outside. Great. Um. So you take a nice big spatula and you gently fold... Oh, shit. That's up here, right? Am I, am I right? No, not there. Look, let me out of here. You fold it in carefully because what you want to do is you want to keep the air in the mixture. Shh. Oh god, you scared the shit out of me. You want to keep the air in the mixture. That's what's going to turn it into ice cream and not into frozen solid creamy substance, okay? That's what's going to turn it into ice cream, is the air in the mix. So you want to fold it in. No oh, shit, that fucking clamp. Oh my god, I walked right past it. And now we get to try it in every door in the house. Yeah, buddy. Alright, wasn't there another door in here? No, there was not. So yeah. Just gently fold in the eagle goop. I don't think there's any uh, doors that way. Fuck you, clown. Uh, I don't think there's any. Uh, yeah. So. Okay. All right. So you fold the. Uh, the stuff into the eagle goop until it's you know nice and mixed in well. Excuse me. And then you ever so gently scrape it into a loaf pan. You scrape it into a loaf pan and then you put it in the freezer. And you, I'll, I'll do this at night and I'll freeze it overnight. And in the morning, guess what you have? You have a pan of fucking ice cream. That's right, and it's really good ice cream. The texture is, it's firmer than soft serve, but it's not hard like store-bought ice cream ice cream. Ah, hey, all right. Okay, some shit about to go down here. Exact. I have no more keys and no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, there's a. Oh, God. Ah. Batteries? Batteries would be good right about now? Hell yeah. Put them in there. And a key. Thank you. Alright, so that's how you make the basic vanilla ice cream. Now, how do you make a bourbon caramel swirl? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Alright, first you have to make caramel. I hear, and I hear ya, I hear ya, you're, you're, you're going, oh fuck Alex. Uh, I, caramel, that's candy making. Alright, that's, that's like, I have to watch temperatures and get, 
figure out this softball and hard crack and ball crack and all this other bullshit. No, you don't. No, you don't. You put that candy thermometer away. You don't need it. You know what? Shh. You know what you need? You need a key. Uh, you need a can of Eagle Brand, and this time, yes, you do want the full fat. Anything in the toilet? Uh, if anything, if I've learned anything from Silent Hill, let's check the toilet. Oh, that's lovely. You need a can of full fat Eagle Brand, and you need a slow cooker. That is literally all you need. Okay? You don't even have to open the can. That's right. You do not even have to open the damn can. You know what you do? You take the entire unopened can of sweetened condensed milk, Eagle Brand. You take the entire unopened can. You put that shit in the crock pot. Take the label off first. Um, or don't, if you want to pick mushy, soggy paper out of your crock pot. Shay, you, know, you do you. All right? Um, put the entire unopened can in the crock pot. Turn it, cover it, uh, put in enough water to cover it. And, um, leave it overnight. In the morning, you'll open the can, and you'll have a can of the best caramel you have ever put in your mouth. So, you make that the day before. And then, before you go to make the ice cream, uh, you do one other thing before you do the eagle goop. And that is, you take a quantity of that caramel, put it in a bowl, oh hell yeah, put it in a bowl, and mix a little bit of bourbon into it. Now, I, I don't know great bourbon, okay? I have a friend who's all, a couple of friends who's all into bourbon. I don't like to drink it, I like to cook with it. But um, we're gonna just, we're gonna call it a night here in just a minute. So yeah, you basically make the ice cream the same way, Except you mix a little bit of bourbon into your caramel. And then, um, instead of just dumping all that shit into the loaf pan at once, you put in a layer of ice cream and you drizzle some of your bourbon caramel on. And then put in a layer of ice cream, drizzle, drizzle some of your bourbon carbon. Bourbon caramel. <laughs> I swear I haven't been drinking it, ain't I? Uh, layer of caramel and just keep going until you run out of ice cream goop. And then put some more caramel on top. And then put it in the fridge or the freezer. That's awesome. All right, the shiny paper. More frightened of the old clown doll every day. Well, I don't fucking blame her. She hardly dares walk past it. Okay. All right, folks. I am gonna call it a night here. <laughs> I don't blame you, Linda. Not one bit. All right. All right, folks. I'm gonna call it a night here. Hey, I even start the day with a key. How about that? I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, with more horror how-to on Pineview Drive. I will see you then. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.